Hey folks, you're always reviews. You're watching our video review of the Wi-Fi Music Streaming Receiver. This is the M2. In premise, it's quite similar to the Gramophone and the Cobblestone. So there's uh, this is a category that's quickly becoming populated and there's quite a bit of competition. With that being said, the M2 is priced at $60. So it doesn't really distinguish itself by offering a lower price point than its competitors. Regardless, the audio quality and the build quality are all top notch, and essentially because most home stereo systems don't have Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, this allows you to add that and connect your smartphone or tablet and then play back your music in a wireless manner that is also fairly high definition. So looking at the box, you have a pretty clean presentation. You can purchase this directly online through Amazon.com. It supports DLNA, AirPlay, and FLAC for a lossless uh, signal for the music, which is great. Some basic info on the sides about the unit on the back as well for specifications, including the size. Again, it uses Wi-Fi, supports iOS as well as Android. You can install an application first before you can get things going. It also supports your computer, so both Mac and PC will work with this. And in here, we have access right on top to the M2 receiver itself, which is a lot smaller than, again, the cobblestone as well as the gramophone, which is impressive considering the audio quality, which we'll discuss in a moment. There's also access to the contents, which includes uh, your audio cables, an auxiliary cable, as well as a uh, micro USB uh, cable for charging, as well as providing power onto the back. There's also an antenna for the Wi-Fi reception to make that a bit stronger, although there isn't a DC uh, power supply included, which is a limitation. It's plugged directly into a USB socket, and that's pretty generic, but something that you should note. In here, you have access to an instruction manual printed in full color, which is quite impressive. It shows you how to set everything up in a very detailed manner, and um, again, it shows it both in Chinese as well as in English. So setting things off to the side and taking a quick look at the design first. Again, this is a pretty attractive uh, digital music receiver, and again, it's one of the smaller designs that I've seen uh, compared to the recently reviewed Cobblestone as well as the Gramophone. So for brief size comparison purposes, I have them right here, and this is the Gramophone, which is most similar in terms of size, but you can still see it's a quite a bit taller. Um, it's about twice as tall in terms of the thickness here, so this makes the M2 seem a lot more sleek, and if you place it onto a desk, it still looks elegant and takes up less space. This is the cobblestone, which is obviously a lot larger, although the cobblestone does have a few other features, such as sharing between multiple cobblestones that the M2 lacks, but overall, as you can see, the design is top-notch and something that we do like. The top features brushed aluminum as well as on the sides, and there are chamfered edges, which creates a very high-end and modern look. On the front, you have access to the Wi-Fi uh, signal LED, which shows you when it's being turned on. On the back, you have access to the various ports, including the micro USB, a reset pin, there's a optical cable port, which is something we don't see on the cobblestone. There's also a USB socket for directly plugging in an MP3 player or a flash drive with songs on there for being played back. There's also the auxiliary cable as well. And on the very back, you have access to the four rubber feet, which prevents the M2 from sliding around when you place it onto a surface or a desk. So Setting up the SoundMate M2 is pretty easy. Just plug in the micro USB cable for power and then connect the auxiliary cable into a speaker or another audio source. And afterwards, you are ready to go. Basically, the M2 acts as a Wi Fi router and an extender just like any other Wi Fi music player. Using your phone or tablet's Wi Fi, connect to the SoundMate source that you can see there, and you're basically set up and ready to play and stream your music. Now, the M2 does not come bundled with a specifically designed application. Instead, it works with any DLNA-supported app from the marketplace. This includes QQ Music, Bubble, UPnP, as well as a few other titles that you can get for free and search up pretty easily using the marketplace. So using QQ Music as a demonstration, and you can find a list of more apps from the instruction manual that comes included with the M2. I'm going to play back a track here. And you can see that the speed between pressing play on the phone and uh, fade playing on the speaker here is pretty quick. Just like other Wi-Fi music players, the clarity of the sound is excellent and the range is much uh, wider and stronger than a Wi-Fi Bluetooth speaker could provide. I can listen to music and then move my phone around basically around the house uh, around one to two levels without any issues in terms of the connection, whereas with the Bluetooth speaker it basically fades out after 10 meters. And so the connection is a lot better and the audio quality is also a lot clearer and stronger. So it does improve your audio experience overall. And I was impressed in that department. Now one thing that the M2 isn't as strong uh, as compared to the cobblestone is there are no dedicated controls on the front here for changing the volume or skipping tracks or pausing your music. However, the design is also a bit more elegant, it's a bit more classical, uh, and also more portable and smaller as well. So that's a difference to note. And the QQ Music app basically works uh, with any 
you know, DLNA supported Wi-Fi music player. You just tap on the player there and you connect to the SoundMate and afterwards you're ready to go. There is a few settings that you can go through and select. Basically, you go into any Internet Explorer and you have to type in this address, which you also have in an instruction manual. It's basically 192.168.222 and then you type everything in there. And afterwards, this controls the M2 now. So you can change things like the firmware. You can also change things like the settings, the Internet connection. If I tap on that, this is how you connect the M2 to your router. So I can tap on that and then enter my router's Wi-Fi onto here so that this connects to the router and then my phone can still have access to uh, Wi-Fi and internet so I can access things like browsing the web or watching YouTube videos while it's being connected to the M2 and streaming any sound files. So it works basically the same way as the cobblestone does and setup is still pretty quick and intuitive. So taking a quick look here, we can tap on file management, basically that allows you to play back any files connected using the USB slot on the back of the M2. So that is one feature that you don't have on the cobblestone and also the gramophone. So if I plug in a thumb drive or a hard drive, you can also use uh, this particular tab to control the M2 so it streams music directly from that thumb drive, which is pretty cool and something I haven't seen. Pressing on back takes you back, and then going into the internet connection settings, you can see that uh, the M2 is searching up for other Wi-Fi signals, such as our router over here. If I tap on that, basically it connects to it, and then with the phone connected to the M2, I can access the internet. Overall, the SoundMate M2 is a solid Wi-Fi music player that has very little flaws that we can see. I would have preferred for this particular model to come with a bundled remote, just because there are no, again, dedicated controls, and it almost seems like there is the ability for it to add a remote, especially with that sensor on the front, uh, perhaps it's something that the company could add in a second generation model, but for now I have to say that the audio quality is excellent and the design is one of the better and the more elegant ones that I've seen. To learn more information about the M2, be sure to read our full written review. This has been our video. Thanks for watching. Here are OS.